Hello football fans, in this video we will be discussing all the latest transfer stories as the transfer window is now officially open. Allegri and Juventus declined Phillips transfer. Calvin Phillips seems to have reconsidered his stance on leaving Manchester City, where he struggles to secure consistent playing time. Despite various speculations about potential destinations, including Italian giants Juventus, it appears that Max Allegri, the Juventus manager, is not interested in acquiring the City outcast. According to reports from Italian outlet Calcio Mercado, Phillips has signaled his willingness to transfer to Turin, and even Pep Guardiola has approved a loan move. However, these developments may be inconsequential, as Allegri reportedly does not view the former Leeds United favourite as a suitable fit for his system. The report suggests that Allegri has reservations about Phillips' compatibility with his tactical approach and has advised Juventus not to initiate negotiations. Interestingly, it is mentioned that the players' representatives initiated contact with the Serie A club, indicating a proactive approach from Phillips' side in exploring potential moves. Next, LA Liga Giants interested in Greenwood. Amidst numerous speculations about Mason Greenwood's future, the 22-year-old forward, currently on loan at Hetafe from Manchester United, has attracted attention from La Liga Giants. While Barcelona has been recently linked with Greenwood, a report from Sport suggests that the operation appears highly unlikely due to potential social reactions in Barcelona, reminiscent of the situation in Manchester. Additionally, the reported £40 million signing is deemed unaffordable for Barcelona. On the other hand, Atletico Madrid, according to Marca, is considering making a move for Greenwood. Hetafe is also said to be contemplating a record-breaking offer for the talented forward. It is reported that Diego Simeone's side has already approached Greenwood's camp regarding a permanent transfer. As Greenwood continues to impress with nine goal contributions in 15 appearances during the 2023-24 season, his future remains a subject of significant interest, with La Liga giants exploring the possibility of securing his services. Thirdly, Football Insider reports that Liverpool has been closely monitoring Michael Elise in recent weeks, with their top scouts keeping a keen eye on the player. This interest is seen as part of Liverpool's strategic planning for potential replacements for Mo Salah in the future. However, Liverpool is not the sole club interested in Ole's talents. Manchester City is also reportedly showing interest in the player. Additionally, Chelsea was said to have been willing to activate the £35 million release clause in Ole's Crystal Palace contract last summer. Despite the interest from Chelsea, the London-born France under-21 international opted to extend his stay at Palace, signing a new four-year deal instead of making a move to Stamford Bridge. Fourthly, Chelsea is reportedly targeting nice centre-back Jean-Claire Tadebo for the upcoming winter transfer window, competing with interest from Tottenham and Manchester United. Tadebo has garnered praise for his performances since joining Nice from Barcelona in February 2021. According to reports from Foot Mercado, Chelsea and Manchester United have entered the race to sign Tadebo, reviving their interest alongside Spurs. All three clubs are described as dreaming of acquiring the talented defender. Despite Tottenham's existing French centre-back options, including Axel de Sarzy, Benoit Badia-Shile, and Wesley Fofana, they remain interested in Tadebo and aim to swiftly secure a new centre-back. Chelsea, not satisfied with their current defensive options, is reportedly ready to spend significantly in the winter transfer window. Manchester United, under the management of new owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe, who also oversees operations at Nice, is considered to be in a strong position. While Nice is eager to retain Tadebo, the intense interest from various clubs suggests that the winter transfer window could be prolonged and challenging for the League One outfit. Newcastle United has also been linked with Tadebo, as they actively seek to bolster their defensive options, although they are not explicitly mentioned in the reports. Lastly, Happy New Year! Exciting news for Manchester United fans as Sir Jim Ratcliffe's £235 million investment from Ineos is expected to provide substantial funds for the club in the January transfer window. Earlier concerns about financial fair play FFP, restrictions limiting the club's spending have now been alleviated with the injection of funds from INEOS. According to reports from The Times, the significant investment is expected to allow Manchester United to potentially spend a several hundred million in January. This financial boost offers the opportunity for the club to strengthen Eric Ten Hag's squad with new signings and make strategic moves in the transfer market. The arrival of Sir Jim Ratcliffe and the associated investment mark a positive turn of events for the club as they navigate the challenges of the January transfer window. 
Let us know in the comments below which transfers you wish to happen for your club.